Hello, and welcome back to Factorio Waterworld. Um, we are in the process of setting up our refinery. Uh, last time we set up our potions. Um, so I'm designing out a refinery complex. We designed what needs to be in it the other day um, in creative mode, but uh, this is... Um, This is the real world thing, in as much as anything in Factorio is real world. Right, we're going to need five light to petroleum crackers. And the temptation is to do it like that. Yep. Uh, okay. Won't fit that way. So this, this is the way around it needs to be. Um, the issue then is where does the petroleum go from the refineries? Maybe... Maybe it's nicer if we stagger this. I think it looks nicer if we stagger it, doesn't it? Okay, so then we have two petroleum lines this way. Um, we would need um, six and two threes here, whether I actually just stick these directly with an offshore pump. I think I'm going to do that. So let's get rid of all this pipe work. We will make use of having uh, water at our disposal. All right. So then how are these connected? Thing like that. I We could use undergrounds here. Um, it would be one down, one up, and there wouldn't be enough room to see any water through the gap. So I don't really see the point in doing it. Okay, so we now have all our petroleum products out. And we need to join them, basically. All right, so that's as far out as we could do it. Copy that. Ah, we don't have a lot of choice this side. All right, so that looks like our design. Then where are we taking petroleum to? Well, we need to take a line out over here for these two plastic machines. One out over here for these two plastic machines and one up here for these five plastic machines. All right, um, so let's sort out the pipe work in this build. Um, I can't realistically take the pipe work through the middle. It's too dense. Um, Okay. So that's a possibility. That brings it up midline. We can do something similar here. But let's totally reproduce it for now. All right. Then Q 
quite like that. So that brings the pipework around towards the middle. Um, we're also going to have output coming in towards this build. So um, let's take that. All right, so can we That's where that would go across naturally. That's where that would go across naturally. I don't see the point in doing lots of routing here. I'd rather do the routing in... Would I rather do that in the center? Yeah, I'd rather do that in the center. Um, okay, then similarly, That's there. So we'll figure out how to route those into those inputs, but we can at least lay out the inputs. Uh, let's put one more down. All right. This distance here isn't quite the same, is it? So this finishes Yeah, so this finishes with the power pole just on the edge of logistics and this is one tile up. Okay. This finishes with the power pole several back from the edge and on this side it is one square above. Ah, we've, we're constrained by this power pole. We're one up, but we're shifted over. Now, do I care about being shifted over? Let's look at the spacing. We've got two squares here, and we've got three squares here. Right. You may not think this matters, these markers are on the edge here. Let's go back over here. So these markers are two squares over. So we are going to cut this, move it two squares. We're going to cut this, move it two squares. Okay. Um, Then yeah. Okay, that's in there. Right. So looking back at the refinery, um We've got a pipe coming in. Something like that. All right. So then if we did similar the other side, we'd have this arrangement. Here. Good. 
then we'd have this arrangement here. Yep. Let's take this there. Okay, now, will rail allow us? Yes, it will. Okay, so that's that petroleum in there, which is pretty cool. Um, okay, so that is two squares down from the dark line. That is three squares down from the dark line, so we are pretty close to being matching. Okay, will either of these builds shift? This can't really go, this could go up one, I'd run into the power. Could this go down one? Well, I'd quite like to move this down one. Yeah, so I think everything on this side, I'm gonna shift down one square. Just after moving it, because I hate the computer. I'm gonna let it build out first. So this side needs to move down one square. Right. That will remind me. Um, that then means we have there we go. Looking for a nice place to glue in. There we go. Okay, so that's plumbed in. We can shift all this around in a minute. Um, well, we, we will shift this around in a minute, but it's just to show the sketch. All right, so this is the next one. So we have this, basically. All right, so if we put that just behind the coil machines, that reaches. Great. Then that's not a good plan. Do we have anywhere near the middle that we can bring Yes. Is bringing it down the middle a sensible plan? No. I want to bring it here, basically. On this line. Now, this line doesn't work very well. So, next best is over here. Don't want to go too far out, because I've got a feeling there'll be a train station in play here. Okay, so we'll be looking something like this. Turn off the rubber ports. Um, huh. Okay, then the next thing is coal. We don't have any coal belts in this design. Let's have a look. This has a coal belt. And there's no coal belt here, obviously, because this is the same design. Okay, we needed to build, move the whole of this build down one tile. I think the best way to do that is I'm gonna take a blueprint of it that I'm going to edit out those. Give it the icon two toasters so that I can find it. 
there it is. Um, then we are going to delete it all, but leave those undergrounds the other side. Okay. And there we are. Then come back with double toasted blueprint. That's where it was. We need to move it Yeah, that's where it was. We need to move it down one. Because that way, this pipe joins. Okay. There we are. Okay, so now this has been moved into alignment with this. Now, that's not to say that um, it's in a sensible position, but it's at least aligned uh okay so coal is the next thing now i've got a feeling we're using slightly less than one line of coal so there's a line coming here I'm just wondering, because this square here is already quite crowded. I need a an iron station here and a copper station here. In fact, let's see if we can find... This is signals on the outside, isn't it? Yeah, signals on the outside. Okay, this is an outside signals copper station. So let's just copy this. I'm going to do this in person. <laughs> Don't have squeak through. Okay. rid of that bit there that's not needed so this is our copper coming in and I've got a feeling I need two copper lines but we can work that out later right I want to make sure that that doesn't get placed. Um, this is leaving even less room for the coal. So it's now looking like this is the way to get coal out. Um, right, let's go back to the Did we have some undergrounds? Yeah. Okay. So that would be there. Is that in line? No, it's not. Grab the whole of that, put it down several times. Uh, 
Um, if you're not sure what's going on here, I'm holding down shift and using the mouse wheel. And that's cycling through all the things that I've copy pasted recently. All right, so that's all of those coming in. Um, which means there isn't really room for a retinal station here. Okay, let's take out that signal. Okay, so I want that train station again. Of that. Okay, let's head over. I want rid of that, and when that is placed, um, I want it to be measuring iron ore. There we are. Right, so I think I need to take four lines out of this. So we have one, rather than combining them, I think I want to bring all four lines out, put them through a four to four balancer, and then, oh, a four to four balancer isn't quite right, is it? Because we've got five builds. Okay, so what are the options? I could do a four to eight, but that's horrendous. I need something that balances reasonably well because I need to make sure that the four train carriages unload fairly evenly. And I don't want to resort to circuitry. Um, Okay, look at it another way. Each of these consumes slightly under half a belt of ore. Well, quite a bit less than half a belt in the case of iron. In fact, in iron, we have 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. That is a single belt of iron. Okay, it's the copper that we get loads of. So we have one belt of iron. That's fine. So this can then go all the way around here one more we will then have a split underground okay then that will bring in the iron ore and half the belt then copper ore can come in on the other half of the belt. Um, let's grab that bit there, 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 and there. Whoops. I love the undo. Okay, and then the final one just does that. Um, I think that's all right, isn't it? So let's grab that bit. There. There. So that's the iron done. Um, and we are out of time. So I'm going to leave it here. We will get back to the copper next time. Um, and I've got a feeling copper is going to be a bit more of a problem. 
I've got a feeling we need two belts worth of copper, but we'll do the sums next time. All right, till then, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you're enjoying Factor Atlantis. I, I know we've spent longer on this production science build than normally you spend on an entire speed run, uh, but we are getting there and it is, I hope you agree, a thing of beauty. So I uh, will see you again soon. Bye-bye.